next is a go to production go to production as its name suggests it's simply a process which takes your changes of the development model and sends those changes to your production version of the model so if you have made any changes changes like adding users updating access tables or if you have imported some data you may want to run a go to production to send these development changes to production version of the application now as you can fathom that all the changes that you do in this folder under development folder these changes will definitely require a go to production process how do we run a go to production process simply by clicking on this green button you just click on it now what does it suggest when you click on it whatever application you have selected in your tree menu bar that applications go to production will run when you click on this button so as soon as you click on this a dialog box pops up you can simply click next now you can see different options here first option is backup data store you may want to keep selected this backup data store because it will take a backup of your current application and will store it on your disk now if in case you've made some changes which you want to revert back you may require this backed up copy of your application second option is display invalid owners and editors now see what does it say if you select display invalid owners and editors this whole process may take a little longer than it takes usually actually what are display invalid owners and editors invalid owners and editors are those editors those users who currently have access to some nodes of your applications e list and are currently in the process of editing so you may want to unselect it third one is create planning package when you select create planning package it will create a package of this application on your cognos connection so the recommended way would be you should keep it selected now under uh, these three options you may see the workflow states options first is leave as it is and second is reset now in case you need to reset the status of all elist nodes to not started or to maybe locked you would have to select this option otherwise if you are running a go to production uh, just uh, during the month you may want to keep this leave option selected click next now it shows that what model changes will be sent from this development version of application to production version of applications you can click on advanced to see the advanced changes the all the changes in detail and then you can just click next now you get a warning that if you run go to production it cannot be cancelled so once the go to production process is initiated you cannot cancel it so only perform this option if you are sure that you want to run it click on yes now the go to production process has started it will perform all your development changes to your production version of application after performing these changes sometimes it initiates some other changes some other actions that may be required for example if you have made any access related changes your e list items may require a reconciliation of data After this process 
list of deeds you should see the status of the jobs you should see that in an in uh, job management folder or maybe using the monitoring console we'll just wait for uh, this applications process to finish and then after this dialog box disappears you can see that what is the status of uh, other related jobs of gpp the go to production you can see the current status here on this screen it says that performing go to production process and also at this screen sometimes what happens that you may not see this dialog box this this one you may not see this dialog box and you would see your application freezed up so you may want to see the status in here and if you see that post production optimization process complete you may just click alt tab a couple of times to bring this dialog box click on okay and you can see if there are any jobs initiated as part of go to production there are various types of jobs that are initiated sometimes for example uh, cut down models could be a job which creates cut down models for your application reconciliation process could be a job cut down tidy could be a job language tidy could be a job so there are various jobs that may initiate here i can see that there is no dependent job which is incomplete i can even see that in monitoring console section also so this suggests that all of the related jobs and go to production process is complete so i suppose you know how to run a go to production now and what is a go to production primarily and then how to run a go to production just to sum it all up go to production is a process which moves your development changes to your production version of application you may want to take backups of application as part of go to production you may reset the status of nodes of your e list after you apply access to some nodes after you have added users to uh, user rights to your application after you have imported some data whatever type of changes that you have performed in your development version of application you would move these changes to production version of application using go to production and you run a go to production by clicking on this this green button which gets enabled when you click on app an application so as soon as you click on an application you will see this green button changing into enabled and you can click on it to run a go to production that's all from me in this section we'll meet again